Hey on folks, it's Ron from Ron's Beer Review and Tools. And this will be the beer we'll be reviewing today, as you can see, you saw it earlier. Uh, Konig's Pilsner. Everything on the can is written, written in German. Uh, I used to know a lot of German. I was stationed in Germany for six months, compliments of the Army. And then learned a lot of German. But uh, I've forgotten a lot, but <laughs> what's on the can. But uh, it's telling you it's a Pilsner beer from the Konig. I'll give you the full name. The Conic Brewery. Capital G, little M, little B, capital H. That stands for Incorporated. Incorporation, there you go with G, M, B, H. They go with the uh, uppercase G, lower M, B, and then uppercase H. And that in German is their uh, Incorporation uh, letters or acronym. Um, they also have another one. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with German, you go to Germany. With the businesses, it'll either be that or it'll be AG, which is a it's, it's a limited public company on that that there. All right, we'll get back <laughs> back to the brew. But if we're talking about that, uh, it's located. This brewery is located in Duisburg, Germany. Now, Duisburg is on the northwest part of Germany. When I was there, I was at a place called Berbligen, which uh, is very close to uh, Stuttgart, and that's where we always went. Uh, for uh, having our beer, it was an entertainment, it was in Stuttgart. But, and that's in the southern middle, southern, almost the southern end of Germany, in the middle. Whereas this, this town here, a city, Duisburg, is up in the northwest corner, close to Netherlands. Uh, Duisburg is next to Dortmund, uh, Dusseldorf, um, and then south of it is Cologne in Bonn, B-O-N-N, -N, Germany. If you know your cities and so forth on a German map. All right, that's enough for the geography. <laughs> we'll go back to the the brew. Uh, this is a uh, 4.9 percent alcohol by volume. This is one point one pint. <laughs> excuse me, one pint point nine ounces or 500 milliliters. Um, this was um, started this brewery in 1516, and going by the purity laws of 1516. Okay, uh, let's see where that was. Uh, they also brew only four other different brews, all with the German uh, noble hops, always with the Bavarian uh, way they brew the Bavarian purity law. All right, so we don't have much on this to talk about. Uh, uh, they they put on the side here. Uh, beer, B I E R, beer, B E E R, American, beer, B I E R E, now maybe French and German, and Cerveja with the J C E R V E J A, which is uh, over in Portugal, Portuguese. Uh, brewed and filled in Germany by Koenig Brewery, GmbH. <laughs> uh, uh, and they give their other brews, imported by Bertigan. Everett, what? Oh no, Everett, Massachusetts. All right, goes to Everett, Massachusetts. So not too far from here, Everett, Massachusetts. We got some nice scrap brews there. But we're still with the brew. All right, uh, I won't run this too long. I go on these tangents and they sometimes run long. I have a glass, I do. I haven't used this in a while. Make it even so you can see it. Uh, I just want to say a few words of condolences on this uh, terrible uh, coronavirus that's uh, spreading around the world. And for the victims, families, and the people that have passed away. Uh, terrible. Terrible for this to happen. And um, it, it just, it's just overwhelming how fast this came through. It's... Um, Somewhat under control. Uh, I think the doctors and the uh, scientists and the hospitals know what's, what's what's happening. They at least have grasped that. But still, people are um, can be infected. Uh, people are vulnerable to getting this, and so you have to be careful. You truly do. You have to be educated on how many hours or days or weeks. This bacteria, this virus stays on something. I know it stays on cardboard for, for a while. I, I, I'm not going to say the time. I don't want to mess it up, but it does stay on cardboard for, for a while and plastics for a while. 
it's in the air for just three hours and dies but all those other things touching and that's why they're going around cleaning it stays on stainless steel it stays on longer than uh, copper it stays on longer than regular steel so uh, with that said we're gonna go on with the the, the review all right we got the glass let's crack this open and see what it's like I'm getting a a warning signal from the director here to <laughs> yeah. hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> All right, we got it. Oh, but I did see some water vapors come up. I did see some water vapors coming out. All right. It's a cold day here in Massachusetts. As you can see, I've got a little like a dressy sweatshirt on. Oh. That looks nice. Look at that. Look at the head on that. And I'm getting the aromas right here. Getting the aromas right here. Look at that. Oh, oh. It, this is a Pilsner. This is a German brew with the noble hops. The hops, those hops come right out. You know you're, you're having noble hops when you're familiar with the German brews. Even when they brew them in the United States, some of these, these breweries, and they brew them with the noble hops in the, the German way. Yeah, this is hop flavor. Hoppy floor on it. Just okay. That is nice. We're back. We just had a little glitch with the camera. That was what, this was. I thought it was for me to hurry up, but uh, the battery was going dead. All right. So here it is. In that little short time. The battery changed. We uh, the head went down. So let's uh, pull more in. Hmm. Nice combination, if you can see it. Nice combination. I was on the aroma part of the aspect of the review. Basically, just all hoppiness. The noble hops dominate. Maybe some graininess in there from the malt. Hi. Right. Oh. Let me show you my treat. I always kind of expect to show that. Eleven way, fix these up for me. She used to pick up all the beers all the time. She still does. Um, these are nice. These are a little bit hot. I don't know if it's uh, blurry or not. If that's coming in, it takes a while on this camera for it to be clear. But they're uh, soft and crunchy. Very, very eatable. Edible. Very edible. Mmm. Mmm. And the jalapeno in these is just right. That was enough hot to it. Swimming. I'm going to try on my mouth for them. While I'm eating. All right, bottoms up. A very basic can. Just tells you what it is. A lot of information on there. It's all in German. It gives a brewery, Koenig Brewery. Something with and hops. Talk about hops in the front. Nice combination. I think this is a kind of an older brew too. I think I've had this a while. Sitting way in the back of the refrigerator. It's a nice smooth beer. Very drinkable. I'm picking up some some essence of I don't know if it's uh, peppery. That be a mmm. A chance of bitter, not really. I was gonna say bitterness, but um, you know how that noble the pilsners have that dank, confused with with the. Uh, Bitterness. I call that dank 
a flavor and aroma on the on the German brews. And it might be just their uh, Pilsner beers that I like that. They have that, to me, that dankiness. I don't have any information on what uh, hops are in this or what kind of malts on this. Uh, all I give is just minor information. And it's in English on their webpage, but it's just minor information. It is um, a crisp in the lager sense of being a crisp beer. Very drinkable. Very uh, flavorful brew. And um, I, I know this has been in, been around for a while. And I don't mean years, but I mean maybe maybe a year old. Yeah, maybe a, one year. This has been in the refrigerator. Plenty of combination. So, uh, I won't run this too long. Uh, all I want to say is uh, be safe. Uh, I know you really can't. You got to stay somewhat quarantined. I know you can't stay 100% quarantined. I know uh, some of my cousins and so forth. A cousin just recently, your husband passed away. Rest in peace, Bob. Passed away. And uh, she's... Uh, 70s, early 70s, and they're advising people to really be quarantined in that age. And she's by herself. And her husband, just recently, her husband passed away, a Vietnam veteran, nice guy, very nice guy. And uh, families are going through that now throughout the world of people passing away from, from this virus. Uh, that's sad. So just be safe, be conscious of what you do and what you touch. It does stay on. You know, at things, handles, door handles, um, just anything out there that uh, is not in your house that people have been touching. Uh, I've been kind of self quarantined, and, and uh, I like that I have a number of things to do. The beer reviews are one, other reviews that I've done. I am backlogged on beer reviews. I, I have, haven't posted many of them because I've been busy, excuse me, doing other things. My harmonic I've been playing, I'm really learning that. My guitar, they haven't even touched in a while. Uh, all my other things, is, and my woodwork, and all my all my two projects, and the well, I go on these tangents. Let me go back to the beer. So, what I want to say is, just be safe, be educated, be smart on this virus. So, have a good day, folks. Ciao.